What's up, everybody? Today we got a special big box unboxing from WWE Shop. It is, and if these things are... No. If it comes in this box, it only means it's going to be one thing. And I'm probably spoiling it by what I put in the, thumb, the thumbnail, but... Whatever, let's get things started, so... Alright, didn't really prepare for this, so... Just reach in my pocket and grab some keys, so there you go. Alright. One. Two. And, come on, we got it. There we go. Great. So, here we go. Alright. Big Mac Daddy. Alright. Right. Get that thing out of here. Bubble wrap. Very noisy. Let's rip it open. Here we go. Here we go, got the Daniel Bryan WrestleMania 30 plaque. Uh, let's see what number we got here. We got number 160 out of 150, so it's a nice round number. Numbers really don't mean anything. See, got the ring rope in there. If you see, those are the only two plaques I have, so those ones don't have a ring rope in it, so it's kind of cool to have the ring rope on there. Never really had it before, so you got, you got Daniel Bryan at the end celebrating with the two titles. Got a signature right there. Got the Che Guevara uh, little yes thing right there. So then you got Dana Ryan hitting the the drop kick or the uh, whatever the fuck you call it. I'm blanking out right now. On Triple H and then his entrance and then getting the Batista bomb RKO. Even though it didn't really look that pretty when it happened, but whatever. So 160 out of 150 right here. So let's see what does it say on here. Uh, Daniel Bryan wins WWE World Heavyweight Championship in April 6, 2014 in New Orleans. That's the little WrestleMania thing right there. Daniel Bryan vanquishes Triple H to move on to the main event where he defeated Batista and Randy Orton in a triple threat match to become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So, this thing is pretty badass. I don't know if it's my favorite one because that CM Punk one there is pretty sweet with the... Paul Heyman and CM Punk signature right there, so I still have a CM Punk Brock Lesnar plaque that's signed by Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, and Paul Heyman. It's still on sale for over, or not over, but it's almost, it's about to be a year, so I might get on that one if they ever drop a price, or if my funds reach to an amount where I can just buy it for 200 bucks, because Brock doesn't sign a lot of things, Paul Heyman doesn't really sign a lot of things, and now the CM Punk's out of the company, yeah, well... CM Punk signed things are becoming more special these days, so, uh, I'm probably, oh, the signature, oh my god, I don't know if you can really see it, but that, that signature, like, really sucks, like, it's just like a D, and then just a squiggly line, and then a B, and then a little squiggly line, so, this probably, even though it says 160 out of 500, this probably was like the 500th one, or maybe like the 520th one, or whatever, because they might do special one or they might do extra ones they just pick out just the best ones but this so that's about the only thing that really i have to say about this is that the signature sucks so probably gonna replace this one for this Dolph Ziggler one put it right there and then i don't know if you can see it but there's like a stewy poster right there i'm gonna take that thing down and put the Dolph Ziggler plaque right up there so i'll have more room so i can put more plaques up and then there's other spaces in this room I can take down because it's basically full of posters and everything. Just take those posters down and put up these plaques. So, once again, last thing, got the Dana Bryan Yes Plaque WrestleMania 30. Pretty badass, a little disappointed in the signature, but hopefully one of these days I can meet Dana Bryan and get him to sign something else, maybe a little bit better. Maybe I'll even get him to sign one of these other pictures. I've seen Stevie Breach take out the, the other pictures so like, he can get Triple H or Shawn Michaels to sign a Undertaker plaque. So, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I actually have another unboxing. Uh, it's a WWE Shop unboxing. Just clothes and stuff like that. That's going to be coming up tomorrow. Hopefully it comes in the mail. I don't know when it comes in, but hopefully it comes in tomorrow. So, I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow, hopefully. So, see you later.